Holy, the guy just refuses to quit. It's crazy. <laughs> well, um, it's like you should get concerned if you see that face. I think they both knew what they were doing here with the draft. We've got 30 seconds, folks, until we're in. But I think they, um, I think they both had a good understanding of the opponent's strengths here. Uh, we had Arabia banned by Capoch. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Against MBL, you should be banning that every time. And then we also had uh, Cross banned by MBL. So that, again, is perfect. Capoch loves those maps. And MBL, it maybe doesn't suit him as much. So I think the preparation and a limited map pool of just seven maps is perfect. Our neutral map is Islands, which is... I mean, I can't tell you the last time I've seen MBL play Islands. Um, dude, the start wild. game on Islands yesterday, did you see it? Yeah, dude, I looked it through it all <laughs> afterwards. So good. It was so good. I was preparing myself for like, uh, it was like Byzantine Stravidians. And I love the late game on Islands where they're running out of wood. I love that. I yep. love talking about it, whatever. But the early game is a little underwhelming as we see the match load up here. Welcome in, everyone. And that game was absolutely wild. Capwatch playing as the Vikings here. Game number one, uh, Capwatch versus MBL. And that's just not the start you want from Capwatch to put the house right on the gold. <laughs> it's like, ooh, Dave, it's a bold statement to start it off. You're right, though. And it's like, yeah. it sucks because you don't want to cancel the house and lose some wood either. Um, thankfully, he's got another gold, and there's lots of things to talk about here. But wow. Okay, so Islands game one. And on occasion with this generation, you can have the, the slightly uh, off-kilter gen where... The, the neutral islands are not between the players. They're so close. So they are right next to each other, <laughs> but they don't know they're right next to each other yet. <laughs> I can't wait for the transport ship yeah. from the landing to go all the way over to like the southeast. Hey, listen, I'd <laughs> like to point here. out, I'd like to point out, this used to happen a lot more with islands, okay? Mm -hmm. And so if you were to venture out with a transport ship, it'd be much easier to be confused. So okay. side dock Vikings is typically what you want here, like, right? Because you want galleys. And if you you know, go to the wrong side here, it could actually be really awkward for you as the Vikings player. Is it feasible in this map to be so confused about what, where your opponent is that you actually accidentally land the middle island and then start like making production buildings on it? I wouldn't mind. Um, like if you pick up on it in Castle Age, dock positions can be so nice. I wouldn't mind docks off the neutral island. But actual I mean, you could, production, you, what type of yeah, production building are we least, talking about? Like, you could fit at least like three ranges on that <laughs> I already, island. I was just, listen, I pointed out that it was a lot more confusing back then, all right? <laughs> so was. I'm just saying. I don't know who was more confused, you or me watching it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the worst was that I was actually streaming it too. There's no clips of the reaction, actually. Uh, we didn't know that that, that would I be I was a watching meme. the Voobly official cast of it uh, with yeah, S&M. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very energetic cast it's from good old SMB. Me and SMB. like 25 other people, I think. Yep. So, Dravidians, they get the extra wood when they arrive to the next stage. You mentioned it. Could kind of see MBL wanting to utilize that to make it messy here. And maybe try and go for uh, a transport of some kind. I really mm -hmm. like the Dravidians. But I also feel like they're so good on water that trying to go land with them, especially when they don't get knights... It doesn't feel all that natural. So there's MBL's dock. Capwatch is going for a dock as well. They, they are docking pretty far away from each other for now, which is huge for Capwatch if he wants to go galleys. MBL has brought in both the boars with the scout. So ah. very, very weak scout. So if Capwatch, it's kind of like a fortress strategy, right? And this was like an older island strat as well. Yep. Um, if Capwatch goes for a landing or something, MBL might be in trouble. Yeah, that's true. Hey, having that weak scout is actually pretty much a confirmation that MBL will not go for a landing. I think Capoch is always happy to be the guy who goes... Oh, Capoch oh, also the board doing too. it. Yep. Okay. Ah, uh, well, you know. Well, so much for us being like, this is going to be a landing, Let potentially. Him. <laughs> Let him bleed. <laughs> Let him bleed. Yeah, really, really smart, actually, in some ways. I have seen instances where this becomes a problem, but I suppose if you lose yeah. your scout in any way here as we have a pause, um, you, you already know your opponent's on your island at that point, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But let, let's just talk late game water. Obviously, there's a lot of different elements to discuss, but late game water fully teched 
Which Civ would Whatever you the prefer here? Yeah, I think I think you're not going into like galleys are just or galleons are just better than longboats. I think in the late game when you're trying to reserve resources mm -hmm. yeah. or conserve resources. So okay. I think if it's like Viking galleons versus Dravidian galleons, well, Viking galleons are cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper. You do have heavy mm. demo as well, but I think the, um, I agree that the Dravidians probably are stronger. I actually think because of the unique ship they have, uh, the, the, the three, the three Sedai, I think mixing them in with galleons. So not full three Sedai, cause you can only produce them in him. But go Galleon, yeah. and then make like 5 to 10, and they're so tanky, I think it can really help. Honestly, one of the keys to Galleon Wars, not so much on this map, because you run out of wood so early. So it's very rare to see just a full extended water battle, right? Yeah, People yeah, are trying yeah. to be really conservative with it. But I've seen it on Northern Isles, and I saw Mihai pull it out uh, in the qualifiers. Mixing in like 7 to 8 cannon Galleons behind your 20 or 30 uh, regular Galleons. Mm-hmm. Now that they have splash damage yeah. is disgusting. And Mihai did it in Northern Isles in the NAC qualifiers. He did it in the islands here. And he got really good value with it. And I've seen other people go for that approach too. I agree. It's really, really good because your opponent is just patrolling in. And when they patrol in with the galleons, they all stack together. Yep. And you get that chip damage with the cannon galleons from behind. It's really Yeah, valuable. I agree. I think I think that's still a bit underutilized because it's such it's a new, new change, right? Yeah. And and we yeah. just don't see water maps that frequently. And any Capwatch usually, says, I think up? the map is bugged. Capwatch says I think the map is bugged in okay. the game chat. Uh, I'm not seeing that. Let me let me actually look. Then they might be waiting for me. In what way? I, there's golds. There's uh, stones. Seven, seven stones. Count five. for me, but I'm gonna see if he's trying to contact somebody. Five. He can't see the sheep, apparently. Oh, he can't find his geese, dude. Is it geese? Oh my god, bro, look at this scouting. Well, look at hold the on, scouting no, 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 I Jack can't. Watch. I have to tell him that map is not it's bugged. It's not bugged. Map is not bugged. Oh my god, bro. So map is not bugged, 100%, and then I'm going to see this in a second? Yeah, he he, he can't find Yeah, that's what he's saying. Geese. I'm missing two sheep, yeah. could not find them, tagging people. I said, map is not bugged. He said, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, Let's so now I can't I gotta there. see this. Okay, so he thinks he's missing sheep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean we can understand. He scouted pretty yeah, much his understand. whole island. We can understand why he thinks this is a bug. We can understand. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> My man needs to up his perception skills or something. Put a few more points on that, dude. Holy <laughs> Yeah, holy. Okay, so they're going to unpause here. We'll play it out. I was really concerned that there was like a missing stone or gold because yeah. I feel like that should have been obvious for us. But okay. Well, we're going to find out here in a second. And they should unpause here. I, I, of course, have to keep tabs. But they said 14 on my end. Did it unpause for you at all? <laughs> no, not yet. Okay. Slight concern because DE has chose to not unpause for casters in the past. And it should unpause for us if they are playing. Mm, but let's wait a minute, maybe, before we freak out. Man, Capwatch is going to feel like an idiot after all of that. <laughs> I, I would feel, like, so dumb. Yeah, know? I mean, to pause, I mean, I, I was thinking about it, like, he really paid attention to how many he should have, I suppose. Because at this point, you're okay. shifting off of food anyways. So you don't really need those. But still oh, nothing man. here. I think... Yeah, nothing here either. Like, if they're... They do have a spec delay, but the spec delay shouldn't make his wait. It should be pausing two yeah. minutes behind where they're at. They're... Well, on spec dashboard, their APMs are not changing. Okay. So, so whatever that means. Well, spec dashboard would grab it from being able to spectate, but if the spectating is broken, then we are genuinely True. screwed here. True. Um, all right, I'm going to have to tag them. Sorry, everybody, but this is just a thanks to E moment. Um, oh, yes. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Okay, cool. All right, so, All right, so uh, we're good. We're, we're back. Uh, there was a pause because Capoch couldn't find his geese. 
He said, the map is bugged. We will wait for admins. I said, map is not bugged. He just said, oh. So we will see if he will find those geese. Uh, but we carry on here, and there will be a dock for Capwatch, all things considered because of their starting locations. I think that with Capwatch going galleys, he will be very happy that he's a bit of ways away from MBL's mm -hmm. dock positions right now. It'll take him a while to find, though. Yeah. Like, he might send the galleys forward, and it might take him a very long time to find the docks at the front side, because he'll probably go to the right, and then he'll loop out towards the back of the island. <laughs> Cap and he it. finds them, he finds them, he says, ah. <laughs> He's uh, probably laughing right now. MBL's like, I don't, I don't care spot. about your geese, bro. I don't care about your yeah. geese. This is game time. Capot should have pinged them and then see what MBL's result or response was. Ooh, yeah, you ping you ping somewhere into the darkness. So it confuses MBL. All right. So Galleys for MBL. Oh, Capot's got Cap got housed, dude. He forgot to make a house. Oh. Both his docks are I'm sure producing. the geese. Yeah, I'm sure the geese contributed to that. He did build it with four villagers, though. So the house went up pretty quick. It's not that big of a delay. Yeah. And he's going to be even happier now that his docks are far away from MBLs. MBL, I think, has found the shoreline from Capwatch. He has, but there's no way to know if that's the neutral island or Capwatch's island. Yeah, agreed. From MBL's perspective, that is most likely the neutral island. But he would want to sail past the neutral island if he thinks that... Oh, he's going to know. He's going to know here. He's going to know. This is too big of a shoreline. Oh, he pulls away. He's checking. The pathing must be weird if you think that's a tiny island. And now now you know. Yeah. Now you, now know, you know that this is the, the mainland for your opponent. And, and Capuch all... doesn't know. But he's going to run right into the galleys from MBL. Yeah. And so now they both have an idea. Capwatch sees the three tile gold. That should indicate neutral island. And so... Kind of a rocky start here, but uh, man, just again to reiterate it, a big series here which for these two, both such big names. And MBL specifically for Hidden Cup is such a fun player to try and guess. So a lot of people rooting for him to be back as we just see the dance. The dance that we don't see much more anymore, Dave. But And again, we this is the first time we've seen Islands in a tourney in three years. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I would love the dance a lot more if there was no regrouping. <laughs> Yeah, Even true. with like four units, we'll see how well they manage that. Yeah, both players are going to get fletching. MBL had his in a little bit earlier. Now, the dance is what we're going to look at. But as always, the, the macro behind this is always really, really interesting. And also, Dave, I think if the Viking player doesn't overtake the Dravidian player here, it mm -hmm. is, like, so difficult to come back on water because the Dravidian player can add fires in Castle Age, and that'll just melt all the docks. And it takes yep. so long for the Vikings to get the mass up. So it is more important for the Viking player, actually, to make sure they have some type of lead here. Well, we might actually see an Islands game where the player who goes galleys and wins the galley war in Feudal Age keeps making more. Yep, yep, yep. I, it's so many of these Islands games, man. I, I've seen players win the water with galleys and then just stop. It's like at some point, they just refuse to keep making ships. They go for the extra town centers and try and boom up there and then end up losing the game because they have no water control whatsoever. Yeah, I think a big thing is if you take water control, you have to make sure you're taking down their docks, which sometimes yeah. players fail to do. And look at MBL's build. I mean, there's a lot of convo about MBL and his lack of prep, right? And I wouldn't consider MBL really a good out-and-out -out water player. But this, to me... This, this is something that he's labbed out a little bit, dude. His food count's insane. He had fletching early. He's got three docks still producing, and he could potentially click up without any, like, selling or buying really at the market here. This is impressive. Well, he needs the market. That's the problem for him right now. There's yeah. the market right there. Capwatch is building his. Capwatch can sell the stone, potentially. I don't know if you want to do that in this situation. Scout goes down from Capwatch. Yep. That, that could be a big deal. If MBL wants to come snag the relic on the corner there, <laughs> it could actually matter. Oh, true. I didn't realize the relic was there. That's actually kind of awkward. Yep. Yeah, Capwatch does sell the stone. I was just going to say, I mean, I don't know what type of game sense Capwatch has right now. But from what we could see, he really needs an extra edge here to reach Castle Age. Yep. And both players, I thought we were going to see the dance. Both players have left the dance. <laughs> and uh, okay, now we, we're going to see them re-engage. But really not much micro at all in Feudal Age.
This is an easy map where you can lab out a build too. You don't need another player. You yeah, can do yeah, this yeah, with a computer true. player. True. Yeah. <laughs> I love this from MBL. Can... Look at his recognition, Dave. He says, ooh, I am really close to his island. He is not pushing me at all. Let's add a transport ship. So transport ship is in queue. He has to be careful though. They're going to run into each other. Catwatch gets on the other oh, side of it. a great engagement from Catwatch there. He has a lot of weak ships from Catwatch and he's getting close to MBL's dock. He's kind of lucky MBL wasn't producing anything out of that dock. Yeah. And I don't know if he spotted the transport ship or not, but MBL is sending two villagers and his scout over and he knows the scout from Catwatch is dead. I also think that's a big part of it. If you've killed your opponent's scout, they cannot scout your, your landing. Catwatch does have more ships than MBL, but just ever so slightly. And MBL will make it over to the other side with his scout and two villagers. Will Catwatch sense this? Catwatch has no stone. He sold all of his stone, so he can't make outposts. But he does have and a And MBL is about to get 200 wood for the siege workshop if he wants to. He's sending the villager out. I think he saw that transport, man. I think he did too. Yeah, I, I was just, I didn't show it on my end. I don't know if you got to see it, but I think with the amount of vision that galleys have, I think he has an idea and he just he saw the it. bills and he's also Great not job. letting MBL know that he spotted him. He's going to quickly drop a barracks. He's going to drop a house, but yeah, Catwatch is going to be under some real pressure here. And this is going to get wild. Scout comes in. Scout is dead. Also, the other relic from Catwatch on that side of the island. Ah, oh, true. <laughs> Both of the relics, <laughs> which usually doesn't matter at all, right? Yeah, it, yeah. It's usually like, it's your island, you got your relics, doesn't matter where they are, but for Catwatch, kind of does here. And Catwatch is going to make longboats in the mix with galleys, but he's not going for the war galley upgrade. It's really hard for him to afford everything. Vikings do not have good monks, so against heavy siege play, they cannot go redemption. They would need their own siege. Here's the engagement. Catwatch clearly focusing a bit more on the water micro with the runner. But MBL will have the landing. And that's where no MBL wants galleys. to be. No war galley is really going to hurt Catwatch here because the fires are coming in from MBL. Yeah, yeah. And the longboats are okay against the fires, but the numbers aren't there yet. And he needs to put wood and gold into his defense. Scorpion opening was interesting, but I guess he didn't have the wood for the mangonel. Yeah, probably that. And that's going to force out the siege workshop from Catwatch and Catwatch is kind of stuck this is in brutal. the southern area of the island like he's got nowhere to go this is brutal dude like you're right he had so many galleys and not getting the war galley upgrade it's like over 10 ships that just weren't upgraded yeah. here I think in that situation you don't make any longboats you just get the war galley get the war galley upgrade making war yeah. galleys yeah yeah it's very likely he tried to get war galley and just couldn't afford and, and it. Saw and yeah. couldn't afford it and is realizing now remember he's the one under pressure the good news for Catwatch is he's got this back gold and back wood to work with but even the wood dude could be a problem and like we said if fires overwhelm the galley player is very difficult for them to ever come back on water and MBL's in a beautiful position game one Catwatch does have handcart and wheelbarrow yep true, true. so he's, he's got a very strong economy on the land with these four 40 villagers if he can manage to take out some of these mangonels from MBL, might be in a good position. Uh, with MBL having only eight on food, but still having to contest water, having to deal with MBL of all players in a mangonel war is not the spot you want to be Agreed. in. Agreed. Yep. I think another thing the war galley upgrade helps with is demos here, right? You could see a lot of demos hopping out of these docks, but because MBL didn't see that upgrade come in, Notice the demos aren't that scary, but I like Catwatch's patience right now. A lot of players would have crumbled already. He killed one of the siege units from MBL. He's still defending his wood and his gold eco. And MBL's struggling a little bit on water because he's focusing on land. So Catwatch mm -hmm. will soon have a lot of long boats. <laughs> what a fun game, dude. I was worried for Catwatch, but now I could definitely see MBL getting pushed back soon. This is going to be problematic for Catwatch, though, because both his stones are over there. Yeah, true. That sucks. Yep. Like, that really sucks. And the other gold is over there, too. So he's basically on this gold, which the house is still kind of griefing. At the <laughs> um, and he's housed, so he doesn't want to delete that. He goes for another one. Running out of wood at the backside here, too. There's only one wood line once he's completed honestly, dude, that. When honestly, he's a transport to the neutral island for stone might, might be good. Might actually yeah. be really good. But he has to win battles on water first. And he has to defend on land. And MBL is just outposting the entirety of his opponent's island. So he has vision, which Sick. is so smart. Really, really nice. Big fights. Ooh. 
Big Man, big MBL just never, he never really gives up on these Mangano Wars, despite what's happening other places in the map. <laughs> Sometimes he, he another... slips up, but like he's making a second siege workshop. I know. Dude. Yeah, you save wood, I think, with Dravidians on the siege. Armored elephants, go. Yeah, maybe start ramming down some houses here. What's the solution to that from Catwatch? He doesn't have one, Mangano. Really. Mangano would do it still. I think send them after the Mangano. I, I need <laughs> it takes to, him like four shots. I need it. to commend Catwatch again, though, for his patience here. Because when you're the defender, it's so easy to just, just right-click and pray, right? Yep. And he's not doing that. But also, you know, he, need, he needs to figure something out here soon. I think, honestly, he should have rushed this stuff down with villagers when he could. Ooh, he had hand true. with his bills. A couple bills, yep. Yeah, and earlier on, before, like, two Mangano's were here. Yeah, your opponent's not going to add knights, right? Catbutch is just going out for that stone, man. That is a big risk. He's got three Mangano's of his own. He's done an excellent job controlling these. Not a single Mangano has oh. died yet from either player. Oh, but we jinxed Jinx. it. And MBL gets the first one. MBL almost gets the second. This is crazy micro. MBL gets the oh, second. Gets oh, no. One. Oh, he's a god. Oh, my god. Uh, MBL's just the best when it comes to Mangano's. Yeah, he's the worst player to have Siege pushing you. Probably in the... Maybe in the, the whole Age of Empires scene, but certainly in the qualifier. And MBL will know what this means for him. As again, he dodges he a shot. another shot. And Catwatch has to and leave the stone. And a big fight luck. on water happening at the same time. The longboats have ballistics. Ballistics doesn't really matter because the ships aren't moving. Both players just engaging. I think for Catwatch, he probably feels like... It's going so bad for him on land, he has to take this fight. And he is, while also tons of Manganels are at his base right now. <laughs> there are Manganels everywhere. MBL's <laughs> got five of them. Catwatch still has two of them defending. And Catwatch is looking for a castle. He's almost got enough stone. He's oh, buying God. stone. He's buying more stone. He's, He's trying to water. a castle to protect that gold. He's winning water. Oh, God. That castle? Catwatch? He has to get this up, Dave. Oh, Delete oh it. my goodness, Delete there's it. no Mangano coming up from Delete that siege it. workshop. MBLQ is another one. Delete it! Delete Cap it! Capodge! MBL, attack it! What's happening? What's happening? This is so stressful. MB. Do something, MBL! Well, you have to delete it now. He deletes it now yeah. because you had you maybe could have tried it, but now MBL's brought everything over here. MBL's going to mix in. This is where I think MBL maybe could mix in some random fires. And now Catpoch is going to head to the center. right. It was all fake, and he's going to drop this castle here. And MBL can see the Vils, and MBL again has to bring his siege, his six Manganels, over here to try and deny this castle. Yep. I agree. Send one Manganel or two Vils to push the Manganel here, if you're Catpoch. He is coming out. Catpoch, well, he doesn't want to... The thing is, Catpoch, now that the monks are there, doesn't want to send Vils to yeah, get converted. True. This is just a bigger headache, Oh, right? oh but, longboats! Uh, Came around the other side, MBL. He loses some siege because of that. Ooh. And he loses another one too. MBL only has two Mangonels left, but he got another one coming out of that siege workshop in the north and the monks are now converting Vils. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. He's gotta get this up. If he gets this castle up, it actually makes life so awkward for MBL. The castle's gonna go up. MBL will lose the siege if Catwatch right clicks them. Yeah, he right clicks that one. He right clicks the next one. Catwatch, does he have the lead right now? He's got ships on water. He can take his stone again. MBL's still here, but he might not be for much longer. And what a beautiful hold from Catwatch. I thought he was so dead. Really, really sick hold. At one point, he was microing the fleet and microing three separate Mangonels yep. while repairing them. Yep. Really sick. I'm sure the gamer face came out there early in oh, game one. Oh, 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 man. And now, Dave, like the monks are dead. You can add the Berserk to deny the TC. And if the TC is denied, MBL can't. Will it? Oh! MBL trying to wall him in. Thank Get back over to the other side. Vil's no. going to die. And then the siege will all die. And this will become a water war again. And you, you got to think, like, MBL might look at that score now. He might think about the moment a bit much. He might think about how good a position he probably felt he had. And if there's any question of nerves, MBL must be feeling a little nervous right now with Capoch having more longboats, Capoch having the second TC, and Capoch just just playing this perfectly in defense. Well, I mean, that was just kind of a classic MBL moment, right? He had the good push, and then he randomly goes for a town center. Yep, yep, yep. On the opponent's island. Yep. Instead of making one at home. And look at his eco at home. Like, 
If he had kept he was, his uh, the second town center there, yep. maybe increase the efficiency a little bit with some extra lumber camps, <laughs> he'd be in a good position. And uh, he got a little bit aggressive. Capwatch called him out on it. Yeah. Yeah, Capwatch defended so nicely. And, and that's the thing. When your opponent's sending that much aggression at you, you do have to understand it's not like they have good economy at home. And mm -hmm. being Vikings, you know, having that position usually feel pretty good, and now it's Capwatch who has the initiative. Mangonel's coming out right now. There's still Berserk. There's still a Monk there. Ooh, and BL Mangonel. can get a lot more damage. Kills that, two Vils. That Monk could also convert a Villager at some point, which would be a nightmare. Yep. And nice job from MBL to stay in this. Again, maybe it's not worth it, because the Galley number is still pretty close, but wouldn't mind a few random fires from MBL to make it messy for Capwatch, because he's got his Longboats all split up. But the longboats with ballistics in mass will eventually take down the fires pretty easily. So I can see why MBL is choosing not to do that. He does still have the villain. Sending a berserk in <laughs> Dude, towards the woodline from Capwatch. Look what Capwatch is researching. It's loom. We didn't have loom. He didn't what have loom. On earth? <laughs> he didn't have loom. <laughs> I guess we never knew because the Mangonels were one-shotting the Vils anyway, but <laughs> oh my god. No wonder he didn't Vil rush earlier. Crazy, man. I mean, it might be one of those things he just forgot. Monk for MBL goes down. Siege for MBL. Oh, it's going to go down. He does still have a Vil there. But Capwatch cleans go it up again. Go finish the TC. He's on a mission, Tristan. Go finish the town center. Go, 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 go. There's Actually, a go, you're right. Go, go. MBL, go. quick wall this. Quick wall. MBL. Go. Oh. It's up. It's going to go up. Are you kidding me? Cat Punch has got to be. I would be so annoyed, dude. I'd be like, I'd be how? So mad. How are you still here? And now he can make more of them? Like, oh, geez. Cat Punch is still surrounding MBL on water. He still has ballistics. He has better food eco than MBL. And he has taken better trades of late, but MBL has that freaking TC, and what a wonderful game this has been. By the way, MBL's making more Siege out of this Siege Workshop. For a map where players could sometimes run out of wood, it does make you think, how much <laughs> Another is villager. he spending here? <laughs> well, it's Dravidians, right? It's a slight... A third Siege Workshop! <laughs> Castle underneath from Capwatch, and he deletes it. They can't decide what's going uh, on. There's Cap another Watch. all here. Capwatch, Cap you need to. MBL, attack the castle. Attack the castle. MBL, no. He um, could have killed that. He could have killed that. Capwatch is so sick of this. He, this castle, I mean, I'm not convinced that this castle can go up here if MBL deletes his house. Dude, that castle was at 68 HP. Yeah, you're MBL right. could have shot it down. Yep. That's second time as well, right? But yeah, they still have the water to look at. And nice. again, great defense here from Capwatch. Okay, so the castle will shoot the TC down. MBL should probably cancel that other Siege Workshop. Dude, MBL is going to make a Mangonel from the Siege Workshop on the left. Mark my words. Oh, 100%. At some point, he's going to make more. <laughs> Does he? Could he make Vils out of the TC real quick, make a Siege Tower, roll it through... And then take the Vils somewhere else. I don't know if there's anywhere else to go, honestly. But MBL, his economy at home looking much better than it was. Look at that farm. He, he just dropped like, yeah, he just dropped like 20 of those farms. Yeah. Pretty crazy stuff. Also, like, you, you have to you have to think about it this way. It's like Capwatch has built two castles that don't really help him in late game. You want mm -hmm. castles on the shoreline in late game. You want castles on neutral islands. Capwatch does have good longboat control, but it's not... He hasn't taken out the docks at all. So MBL is always able to make more war galleys. And MBL is, interestingly enough, on the back with his war galleys. But I guess... And he's making a Meganel. Yeah, he's making a Meganel. Dude, they both don't have horse collar. And we all know that in a really close islands game, it's it about matters. conserving your yeah. resources and wood, right? So the horse collar coming in now for Capwatch might not seem like a big deal. But if your farms last longer here, really important. Ooh, MBL taking out a villager, and now the Vils are running. He can get a good shot with the Mangonel. He kills another one. Bunch of weak Vils here, Tristan. What a, what a stubborn player, man. Like, he always is finding a way. That's why he brought the Navy over here. He's always been able to find a way to make life awkward for Capwatch. Again, I would be in Capwatch's position. I would just oh. be so frustrated as MBL kills more villagers and more villagers. 
He's got to bring his navy all the way back to defend his gold now. <laughs> Enviel's making another one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. It just never ends, does it? It just never ends. And Catwatch is back on the gold like I'm safe now. No, you're not. No. You're not. Because those bills are weak. And that's seven villagers that just died to this stupid mangonel. And it truly is a stupid mangonel. Yeah. But I, I love it because this is what how we describe MBL, right? And it has given him time to get the castle up on the shoreline behind this, to, to mass those war galleys. The navy count will be pretty close. MBL may be an imp at a similar time here. I mean, this is still not even... It's really hard to call. I think the score for Capwatch is misleading here. Yeah, it's um, all navy. Yeah. I I think MBL definitely needs to get out to at least one of those islands in the center. I can agree, yep. Yeah, I, like, Capwatch is already going for a transport ship here. He can snag the relics. Capwatch... He's in a better position to just kind of stabilize this game than MBL is. MBL has to shift this focus away from that landing mentality and just fully on to what he needs to do on water. Agreed. Yep. Horse and Caller is a big part of that. He, he's actually <laughs> he's actually winning this battle on water. MBL's on the way to the Imperial Age faster than his opponent. Love the castle from Capwatch. That castle is going to make life so awkward for MBL to move through these docks, and MBL is still producing out of these docks. Catwatch is just going to start to chew them down with these longboats. And wouldn't you know it, you, you must expect it if you've been watching these two and you listen to us advertise this series. But there goes Catwatch, also on the way to the Imperial Age. Just incredible stuff. That castle is within range of trebs from MBL's island, I believe. Yeah. But it's going to be hard to support those trebs uh, because the longboats are here, right? Yeah, all MBL's new docks need to be to the north of this castle now. And this would be a great time for Capwatch to get a transport ship, start to collect the relics from those neutral islands. And if you can bring even just four or five bills there, any amount of resources you're taking on that island, I think is going to pay off for you in the long run. MBL is getting housed, or was getting housed, because Capwatch was killing all this stuff on his island. Uh, That's true. a frustrating one for sure. Yeah. Also, if you lose a dock with the Dravidians, you actually lose pop space. You, you never think oh, about true, it that, that way. Yeah, true. It's it's normally a bonus, but it when you don't have water control, it can be a big problem. Vikings. Man, I mean, there's just so many ships here. It's insane. And MBL's lost, what, like four docks? Pretty expensive. Capwatch has got to be feeling, because of the score... And because of how he's been able to throw MBL off his island of all people, he's got to be feeling great about his position right now. This is what the Vikings can do, man. That is what they can do. I don't think many civilizations withstand that onslaught. I don't but think... with wheelbarrow, yeah. handcart, I, I, I think even though he lost some villagers, lost some momentum, he has the potential of longboats, he has the good eco, and he can kind of stabilize and come back in this situation. Look how fast the docks go down to longboats. This is yep. Castle Age longboats. These docks melt so quickly. And Catpotch will have the resources for Elite Longboat. He'll have the resources for uh, Bracer and Chemistry. Eventually, he's going to need to get the unique tech. We call it Bob's Vinegar. But I believe it is Bob's Vigar? Bob's, Bob's, Bob's Vigar? Vigar or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Bob's Vinegar. Yeah, Bob's Vinegar upgrade is going to be needed to max out these longboats. But. MBL sold 1,000 wood, but at least he doesn't have auto farm enabled. Yeah, I was going to say, at this point, it, the farm thing's kind of not even a conversation. <laughs> you just you just hope you don't have to uh, reseed any farms for any reason now. Still doesn't have the galleon tech. Really? Oh, Can't man. Can't afford it. MBL's kind of falling apart here. Who, who would have thought that when MBL had transport six over. mangonels... This could be a problem. He is going to transport over. I think if he transports over with villagers and a treb and kills that mangonel first, that's an important part of this. Oh, yep. he doesn't kill the mangonel. Oh, my God. He if he galleon, transports dude. over here, it could be threatening. Yep. But still, there's the berserks. He on needs that galleon. Side, so you need this, a roomie. This is, this is a basic upgrade. You got to get it, MBL. You need to get galleon here. You got castellated ships with a blacksmith upgrade, basically. Galleon's a big upgrade. There's Galleon there now. It's a minute away for MBL. It is going to come in. It's in one of the safe docks. But yeah, an interesting approach from MBL. But to your point, Dave, if he shows up here and Capoch has a Mangonel, this is not going to work. 
And you gotta get back in that ship, people. You gotta get back inside. He can pull him to the fleet, uh, but true, that castle's true, true. gonna be a problem, for true. sure. That castle's gonna be a big problem, and NBL goes for a castle of his own on the other side. The longboats are still pushing in here. It's 46 longboats against 40 soon-to-be galleons. Some of the galleons are gonna fire on the berserks, which helps Catwatch in the fights. Mangonel's still firing. Mangonel goes down. Trebs are still up for now. Galleon's in for MBL. Crazy. He has to defend his Treb again. He does. This is a crazy battle. MBL's Treb is actually underneath Catwatch's castle, so he has to rep repair that as well. Crazy numbers. From what I'm seeing on capture rate here, though, there is more on water for Catwatch, so it is super important for MBL to continue this push on land in some way. Yeah, the longboats are also harassing MBL's eco at home while this is all going on. Yep, true. And MBL probably doesn't realize that. But, like, if MBL trebs this castle down, he can actually just back up and chill for Castle's a second. gonna go down. Yeah. It's gonna go down. He needs to back up, and he just could serve his production. And the longboats for Catwatch can't necessarily push past the castles, in theory. I could be really wrong on this. The first player has now reached the neutral island as the longboats are now at wow. 29 and MBL calls the GG okay. Yeah, MBL's population down to 120. He probably feels like he can't do anything from here and he doesn't have the resources. How did Capwatch win that game? How? I don't know. Six mangonels from MBL of all people. He's got Vikings who he, he can't get redemption to convert them, which is a common defense. And he somehow was able to come back on water? Was able to stay alive on land? That was incredible from Catwatch. I think if MBL just, like, keeps those five Maganels and then doesn't invest anything else yeah, yeah, yeah. onto the land aggression, Catwatch is still in a really rough position and MBL can expand his eco. But, I mean, that's classic MBL, right? He wants to just keep pushing, yep. make more siege workshops, make yep. a TC over on the other side. Catwatch, once again, classic for his characteristics, just refusing to give up. That was a Even seriously good loom. game. Yeah, without <laughs> Loom, he went for two castles without Loom. And some of them were really questionable castles. Damn, dude. In the end, though, like, like, the thing that I keep coming back to is it's one thing to micro on water. That can be tricky enough. Um, especially when you fall behind. Remember, Capwatch fell behind in early Castle Age on water. But then, trying to stay on water while you have, are being siege pushed is, like, nearly impossible in my eyes. Because you're almost always going to be too distracted. And Catwatch somehow had the multitasking to not die to MBL on land while also still mm -hmm. controlling the water to get to this stage. And that is why Catwatch can absolutely beat MBL today. And that is why there's lots of conversation and nerves around the series for a lot of MBL fans. Crazy, crazy stuff. But MBL's weakest map in the entire best of five? Probably this one. Because MBL is just not the craziest water player. Yep. So here we are, game number two. MBL put a lot of pressure on himself uh, with the NAC qualifier. Obviously, things didn't go out, go how he would have wanted there. Uh, here, I think as well, lots of pressure on himself here, Dave. And so he needs, for his nerve's sake, he needs to tie this up, make it a 1-1, because losing this series will mean whoever loses is out of Hidden Cup qualifier. Should be crazy. He's got himself a decent map. He can wall to the left side. And yep. he'll have a stone secure, a gold secure, and the berries. And all the uh, the ostrich as well. Yeah. So really, really solid there. Capwatch can actually manage a wall to the corner, which is optimal in gold rush, because then you're covering off two sides of your base, essentially, with the edge. But it's going to take some work, for sure. I just wonder, like, does MBL go for aggression early and then wall up and boom behind? Does he wall up and boom? I, I, I'm not sure. I just know that he's probably not likely to play the meta wall stable three or four scouts like have yes. type of I agree. approach. Yeah, I agree with you there. Yeah, well, I guess we'll find out. You know, any aggression that I think that Spanish could do uh, on this map would be involving a tower rush. But I think because of the wolves, unless you know, and it is a part of the map that you can run through the middle. Uh, I don't think we're going to see villagers go forward. And I think the wolves being there, the, also the distance between the players combined with it being a pretty wallable map. Uh, this is why we, we do see a lot of fast castles. But the Italians should be slightly better at that. It's cheaper for them to go up to each age. 
I think where it can get awkward for the Italians is what type of unit do you want to make? Because, again, Spanish, it would probably feel very nice to get a lot of Genoese crossbow. But usually your castles... You don't want to have to make the You're choice between down. Trebs yeah. and yeah. Unique Unit. Yeah, so I guess, like, other than that, Italians do have fully upgraded Cavalier and Hussar, so that's not bad. They probably would go Archers, though, otherwise. Condottiero versus Conks? Pog? It may be, yeah. Here's a thought, though, on the topic of, of Genoese Crossbow being difficult to mass. I could see heavy stable play being good here. On paper, you don't want to do it because the Genoese crossbow, but if it becomes a treb war, right, and you mm -hmm. go, like, cavalier trebs, they can't make trebs against you if they uh, need Genoese crossbow for their cav, and then if they don't have trebs, they lose their castles, and then they can't make Genoese crossbow. Like, it's this weird little issue you fall into. So, Capwatch will see it. It looks like he might actually go for a feudal age build here. And MBL actually building up towards... What I think is some walling, but just things to think about. I mean, that sounds great until the Capwatch has like seven monks around his trebs. True. And then <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your Cavalier get converted. True. And then suddenly he found tons of time yeah. to mass up the Genbos. MBL scouting pretty early here. It's not early scouting, actually, but he left an ostrich at home, which is Don't only Don't wall to the stone, MB. Don't wall to the stone. Didn't scout oh, the didn't wood. I didn't see the wood line over there. Yep. But still, you can't wall to that stone. You got to go around it. MPL's, That's your only one. MPL's going to drop a barracks. Oh, unless he walls around the stone in the in the north of his base. He could do that, I guess. The front one. It's pretty far out there, but... Yeah, yeah. I think that might be what he's trying to do. And MBL's still creating vills. I w this might be one militia and a wolf rush. MBL did it in the past. <laughs> Classic. The berries are I haven't forward. Haven't seen dude. it in a long time. The honestly. berries are forward. If there was ever a time for a wolf rush, has he seen that? He spotted the berries forward. Yeah, he exactly. Knows. And he now he's scouting the wolf. Oh, I'm telling oh, you, let's dude. Go, dude. He is one let's in queue. Go. He's not making a second. Now, again, the way the map's designed is there's, there's only five wolves on that side, though, Tristan. He needs to go on the other side. True. <laughs> the wolves are always on the sides. Oh, he's the going other on side's the other got side. All of them. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's counting wolves. He's counting wolves. He's counting wolves, bro. No way. Well, he did scout the other side before. You also have to make sure the militia doesn't die, right? Because if the militia doesn't make it, then everyone just laughs at you. But yeah, here we go. MBL's hoping to run oh, past more wolves. he missed out on the aggro from the other wolf. There's a uh, bunch more upcoming. They'll start to bump up against each other eventually. He should be able to aggro all of these and make it. There's another one he's right worried, there. He's worried that the militia's going to die right now. Yeah, he's going to have to block it with a scout. There's oh. another one right there. That's number four. Okay. okay. Five. All right. Blocking. Wolves are still chasing. As long as There's one... number six. As long as one wolf sees this militia, everything is good. <laughs> the other wolves Seven. will chase. Here we go, folks. MBL is blocking with the scout. <laughs> this is the first, I think, intentional wolf rush in the Dark Age. We've seen the entirety of the qualifier from a player who in previous Hidden Cups did this. In the main event of Hidden Cup. This is why oh, people want him Cap back. Watch. And here we go. These are not the berries you wanted, Capwatch, but they're the berries you're going to get, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the militia's working away. MBL deletes. Woo, and woo, woo, there's woo, woo. a famous clip of Capwatch freaking out as wolves get into his base on Arabia. <laughs> and oh. this kind of reminds me of that same energy. Oh, God. And it's like, it's idle time. You're probably not going to lose a vill, but it's annoying. Capwatch isn't scouting oh. right now because he's looking at this. And oh, oh. Maybe. Oh. They were they're dead. Not. It worked. The woo, woo, woo. MBL. Oh, my God. And, dude, you're going to know if you're Capwatch. You're going to know that you lost that vill. MBL, of course, won't. But he is rewarded. And he is fully walled at home now. What a start for MBL. Yep. Beautiful. And he walled all the way around that stone. So it was all part of the plan. He walled to the other one on the left. He's going to take the stone in the front of his base. That is a great strap from MBL. And the most impressive thing about that, I think, is the fact he was counting wolves on the right. Yeah, true. He's like, there's not a lot true. here. Yeah. And he went to the left and yeah. summoned all of the... He could have had an extra four wolves yep. involved, by the way. like. <laughs> yeah, and... and 
it, it will be kind of funny now because I think the best TC position for MBL will now be where the other wolves are. <laughs> so if he ever goes out there, he's going to get attacked. But usually two wolves are not going to be a big problem. And right behind this, he's just planning on a fast castle, Dave. I think he's not going to be able to afford it right away. But Catpatch yeah. isn't breaking through. Catpatch is making a stable that will not do anything. So MBL should be very happy. It's just unfortunate for him he doesn't know that a villager died with that rush. Because I'm sure if he knew that, he'd be feeling amazing. Catpatch is steaming right now. <laughs> <laughs> kicked off the berries and his walls are like super awkward around yeah. it. It's just, uh, uh. it's not pretty. He did manage to wall to the corner though. Oh my god, So dude. that's a great job from Catpatch. Okay, so Catpatch I think is worried that MBL is going to fast castle and kill him. So now he's going to come forward. But guess what? Ooh. There's wolves here on the right side. And if you run up on the side, there's going to be wolves. And MBL is going to spot this right away with no the scout. No way, dude. No, oh, that's so nice. good for MBL. That is so good for MBL to see that. So he will know this is going to be a heavy feudal age pressure then from his opponent. But now I want to see the defense here from him because MBL yeah. doesn't have enough to click up to Castle Age. And MBL is an excellent defensive player, but sometimes it gets a little bit, let's say, unorthodox yeah, 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 in yeah, the yeah, way yeah. he chooses to defend. I mean, he's going to add a stable. I could see MBL staying in Feudal here instead of just going to Castle Age just to make sure he defends it. Nice hits here with the spear so far from MBL. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's queued up four more Vils, two more Spearmen Forging's forging. on the way. Yep. Now coming in for him. Interesting counter tower here for MBL. He's only being built with two Vils, but he is Spanish. He does build faster. And MBL, who forging, won't rush Forging are really going to help these Spears against the Vils and, and the Spearmen yep. from Capwatch. MBL's tower should go up. Scouts can't really get involved for Capwatch because the tower will be up. The Spears and the Scouts all have to be worried the whole way around here. MBL is just going to sit underneath this tower and shoot this down. And he's going to try and rush this down as well. This is going to get very messy. We do have Wolves coming in as well. But this should be amazing for MBL right now. Great great house there from Catwatch to block the Villagers from uh, coming to reinforce this position. But it's still so disgusting for him. The Wolves are attacking his Spearmen. The Scouts just can't engage yep. because of the Spearmen from MBL. And now MBL is adding some more Scouts of his own. And Catwatch just needs to run. Like, this did not work out for him at all. No, it Great didn't. defense. And it comes down MBL scouting it. And then instantly towering. There was zero hesitation. The early forging. This was not part of his original plan. But MBL has adapted wonderfully here. And he could kill all these Vils, dude. This could be this, yeah. this could be GG before Castle Age here, which is rare. The fact you're sitting at 500 food and you choose to invest this much if you're MBL. Yep. I mean, it's paying off big time. There was really no delay there either. Like, he made that decision instantly. Yeah, agreed. Spearman counts. Yeah, still, still trying to really fight. high. There's two weak vills in there. <laughs> Dude, the wolves, oh, if there dead. were more wolves and they ran into them, the oh, wolves yeah. would completely feast on these villagers and the spearmen with so many weak units out here. Vils are trying to run. Capwatch trying to make a house there. MBL needs to chase after those with the scouts. There's a bunch of weak ones there. He can see them. He's going to take this guy. Yep. And MBL's still advancing out with his own vills, so he has to be careful, but he's just fighting off the spearmen with the vills, no problem. And honestly, having killed this many Vils, you're already feeling pretty good if you're MBL. Mm -hmm. So you can just go home now. I don't think you have to stay here. I don't think you have to turn this into something more. That's the level of defense you wanted here. And yep. you know you haven't lost any villagers yourself. So keep the Vils alive. Go home and plan for Castle Age would be my thinking. I think Capwatch has done a better job than MBL behind this, though. Like, he's gotten horse color. Yep. He's got a really good amount of farms, and Italians, they're cheaper to go up to the Castle Age yeah, true. than the Spanish yep. are. So yep. Yep. I think MBL is going to need to just kind of focus a little bit more on his economy now, maybe get a market up. He already has one, I guess. Buy some food. Honestly, pretty ridiculous. Get pretty ridiculous control. farming eco for both of them, let's be honest. Like, yep. With all of that, the fact that they have this farming eco is wild. But you know what that does do is that puts both players... Onto stone, potentially. And so we might mm -hmm. see Genoese Crossbowman or Conquistador much earlier than we would have originally anticipated. And MBL still going forward. Like, this this is the type of game that MBL likes. He likes the chaoticness. But oh, God. I don't know. range, bro? Fletching? No, you can't. <laughs> Dude, no, no. You just got to settle down here, Chief. 
There's no way. And and I actually think losing that villager might benefit him because it might drive him away from <laughs> nope, this nope, archer nope. range. It makes him want the archers even more, dude. There it oh is. Oh my goodness. Okay, Why? but to anyone who hasn't seen a hidden cup before, with MBL having played in every hidden cup, this is why people want MBL in Hidden Cup, right? Because of the, you know, the, the first game with the transporting and the landing and the siege. Now with like the awkwardness and the forward and the wolf rush. This this is why this guy is so iconic and the chaos is so unique to him, it feels like. Mm -hmm. So is he going to push forward with the tower and then put archers inside the tower? Remember, he is Spanish. So this is not a long-term composition mm -hmm. for MBL. I mean... MBL's thinking is probably if I hold this position, if I have vision here and whatnot, long term. Force the castle back, yeah. The castle's on the back. Uh, my opponent can't take the gold. But I mean, Capot just clicked. If he up. wants to do that though, like he needs to keep a spearman over on the left side somewhere, because Capot could easily just leave. Yeah, agreed. That's a big thing. I think outposting. Down center. I think outposting yep. the sides is really valuable here. Holy spearman! Okay, from MBL, MBL buys food, and he's about to click up. Yep. Okay, one tower may actually, and, and all this aggression, may actually mean that Capwatch cannot castle anywhere near the uh, the middle. He'll have to do it at home, and then Capwatch will not comfortably ever move out to that gold. Gotta wall that thing in, though. Yeah, definitely have to wall the tower in. Then again, if you have eight spears with forging and a couple archers... Maybe but the tower how long are the spears going to be there, Tristan? Yeah, true, true, true. This tower could be annoying long term. Yeah. It's currently annoying because of the spears. Okay. Walls are up for MBL at home. Eco's looking pretty good. Like you said, didn't have horse collars. So a lot of these farms are going to start to reseed here for MBL. He's going to have to decide if he wants them to or if he wants to save the wood for town centers. Capwatch. He'll be in Castle Age, but he does not have the stone for a castle. Feels more like he's just going to make a knight or two out of his stable and drop a TC. But even though it's a feudal age army, MBL is being a pain with it. And the house is starting to go down. The Spanish archers are doing something. And Capoch has got to be thinking, are you kidding me, bro? Like, what, yeah, is, what this? is this? <laughs> and he puts the castle right in his face. <laughs> he says, there you go. Smack that right on the table. Get away from my economy. And MBL goes for another tower huh. in the middle. What is... Okay. I, I mean, uh, I think I understand the idea behind that. I just don't think it's very effective. Yeah, well, idea, effectiveness, meta, you know, these, we look at this all differently when we're casting this Norwegian. And tower will be up. Now, I mean, MBL, he's going to love the fact that he has a hill, but you can't really mm -hmm. siege push. Well, maybe you can siege push the TC. And siege would make sense against the Genoese crossbow. Maybe just hill to protect the siege. Crazy. I think we should just stop predicting what he's going to do because yeah. <laughs> he's going into light cap now, <laughs> right? He's getting the town watch, the wood upgrade, and TC then there's a there. TC up on the hill forward okay. from MDL because, I mean, he had the bills there, I guess. Yep, Catbosh yep. goes for a second town center of his own, and he starts adding in a monastery at the back. Is this okay? So this is definitely a bit crazier than advertised for MBL, right? Is this nerves, or is this a is this like a conscious strategy against Capwatch? What do you think? No, nothing. Nothing is conscious here. This is all it's unconscious. Just, it, it's yeah. just instinct. This right? is instinct. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I love that. Like Capper coming in. Okay. Spearman there too with forging. And eventually and the Genoese the siege workshop moment. and he leaves. I think MBL will be very happy the Siege Workshop is there, though. MBL goes in, yep. kills a vill. Like, the Siege Workshop being there this early just to push back a couple towers, that would excite me if I'm MBL because he's yeah, going to go that, TC that, number two and three. That means there's no TC three for Capwatch, likely, if yep. there's a Siege Workshop yep. there. So gives you a good indicator of his economy. Still chasing those scouts around from Capwatch in the middle. Those things have been trying to get into his base. And like you said, second and third TC for MBL, and one of them is forward. I would love to see an outpost over on the left side, though. If Capwatch sneaks out there with yeah, a castle that could or be... with the town center, it's going to be a nightmare. I could. I think it's such a smart play for Capwatch to attempt that. He doesn't see any siege from MBL. He'll have. He could have some Genoese. He only has one. But yeah, just a castle on the left side, Dave protects the gold. Double Genoese crossbowman production. MBL's whole thinking mm -hmm. is just to deny this gold, but.
He does not have vision on everything. But he did like, get town watch though. Yeah. He's got a lot of vision. We'll say though, but if I'm in Catwatch's position, I don't move out there because I think MBL is going to spot it and kill me. So mm -hmm. you, it, it's really hard to have that game sense to think about doing that. But it does feel like with that much stone in the bank right now and no other castle spot that really clicks for me, that that could be the play here for him. How many siege workshops does MBL make forward in this game? I'm going to stick Just with one? one, actually. Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stick with one. I mean, Catwatch has enough stone for a castle, so maybe he wants to try and castle next to the siege again. But, oh, man, what a game. What a series. And Catwatch, so much army right now, but it's just so much going on here. From MBL, there could be monks. There could be siege. MBL slowly growing with a bit of a villager lead. Catbotch still really good eco on the, for the two town centers that he has right now. Just 25 seconds of TC idle time. I'm just wondering, like, where... Oh, nice snipe from MBL on the Maginel behind the gate. I'm wondering, like, where... If you're Catbotch, where do you castle? Because second castle inside of this base doesn't give you a ton of value. Yeah, yeah. You're not sure if you can go out to the middle. I think that's probably the correct play on the yep. left side, but MBL could be there. And I'm not sure you could get away with one on the right side stone either. Yeah, so, I mean, I... it. Catpouch has probably played millions of gold. Well, not millions. Let's let's say a couple dozen gold rush games over the past few years. I don't know if he's ever encountered a situation like this, <laughs> where I mean, you it's have the stone for, for a second castle and you don't know where to place it. Yep, it's imp and a castle on the hill for MBL. Wow. So Catwatch might even not use his stone. That might be the correct play. Sell it and buy food. Yeah. Do you do you expect imp though when you see this castle? I wouldn't. No, be I no, because there's a siege workshop in archery range, seventeen spearmen. <laughs> like <laughs> uh, yeah. there's a lot going on here. <laughs> We're dealing with a lot of stuff here. <laughs> you do not expect imp from this. Yeah. And when you see it, you're probably like, oh, that's really, really bad, because the castle's gonna go down, the TC's gonna go down. I do think you're right. I do think Capwatch is gonna try and click. Maybe the forward castle gives him that indicator. Look at MBL's little feudal age armies just patrolling around all the gold. And now he's got the outpost going over there. Yeah. Nice. Wow. I, you know what? That university might have told Capwatch more than anything else yeah, that MBL fair. was going in. That's fair. There's yeah. no other reason for that university. Yeah, true. And now Capwatch, does he try and, and sneak a castle somewhere? I mean, he still has gold in his base. He's got more than enough to fight for the first couple of minutes of him. But it feels like he needs a castle that MBL doesn't see, and that MBL can't stop, and the vills for Catpatch are moving. Now, MBL is seeing the Siege and Spear escaping, so that might tell MBL that something is over there. Ooh, he's going to investigate. The Spidey senses are tingling a little bit. Sends the conks to one side, the light cap to the other, and he might find the vills. Oh, and man. And he finds them, dude. Again, the same area. That's where his scout was before in the early game. Beautiful job. Sees it. Treb's now going to be on the way for MBL. Should take out Catpatch's castle. Catpatch wanted another castle to be forward. That's not going to happen. And MBL has just played this perfectly. Honestly, I mean, it's been mm -hmm. chaotic. It's been very MBL. But a beautiful the... job ever since the Wolf Rush at the beginning. That's the MTC. I'm just bringing that up. I mean, MBL is going to go after the castle first. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Catpatch going up in that TC is... <laughs> well, in, in all honesty, he did have two choices. It's not like it was five. <laughs> but yeah, that's well, not the one you want to do. Well, he picked the wrong one, Tristan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he picked the wrong one, all right? He lost the 50-50 for sure. <laughs> I like this from MBL. It is interesting because some players will double down uh, on this position, but he feels like, oh, there's a chance maybe I lose this castle. Let's make sure I have a follow-up castle in the very back. That middle that hill is so workshop. important. Wow. You lost. Yeah, probably for Bombard Cannons. Yep, should have should have predicted at least two with MBL. What a game. And we're in that right, let's we're in that if... predicament we talked about with Genoese Crossbow, right? Where you need traps, yeah. but then you have to make Genoese and you're just stuck. Let's see if Capwatch can come back from this one. He came back from a really good one uh last game. Intense pressure, but the problem here for him is he has no eco lead. And he's gonna need a ton of siege to push this back, like you talked about. Mixing the production between Gen Genbo and Trebs is going to be really difficult. Guess... Especially once Bombard Cannons are here from yeah. NBL. And that's why the university was there. Like you said, that's maybe what gave Catwatch an idea. 
That imp was on the way for MBL, but when he realized that, MBL was already on the way up. Keep in mind, folks, it's cheaper for Italians to go up. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper for Italians for university upgrades as well. So what MBL is doing, he's paying full price for. But this is on the back of some amazing control and some amazing economy. And right now, he's forcing Capwatch into repairs when Capwatch does not have any safe stone access. So Capwatch will run out of stone here. God, my man went from 1,300 stone in the bank to zero. <laughs> True. Pretty quick. I mean, he did add that second castle, but still, he's trying to push back here with the trips. Trying to take care of the castle from MBL, but MBL still has stone in the bank. He's going into skirms. He's tracking all of the movements from Capwatch. Really is. And he should be fine, man. I think I mean, MBL, like... going down is brutal. Even, like, a little bit of paranoia. He's like, is Capwatch attacking me on the right? He's checking there. Super smart. MBL is locked in right now. And it is very hard to to play like this after when you've got expectations on yourself and after you lose a first game like that. Mm -hmm. It's so difficult to play like this. And MBL has played it perfectly. Let's see. Almar Cannon's going for the Trebs. MBL's repairing his castle. He doesn't have stone either, but he could buy it because he has the gold. It feels like Capot should struggle here to take this castle, but MBL isn't repairing. MBL runs out of stone. So there's a chance. Micro. There are a lot of just random projectiles flying through the air right now. <laughs> <laughs> From a variety of different, different targets units. too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how are you supposed to micro this properly? I think this is where having the hill, having the economy lead, and having the double siege workshop pays off for MBL. That trap should go down for Capwatch. Should be a goner. MBL's got to target it. He's bringing in the skirts like for the, the Genoese patience. crossbow. I like the patience here from MBL, though. Like, he doesn't need to push this. He can just sit here yep. and launch volleys all day. It's on Capwatch to come back in this game. And now he's microing the bomb right cannons. Redemption could be great for MBL, too. And block printing for his monks. Yeah, I mean, you've got the gold to make monks, right? There's no question well, I mean, there. At this point, doesn't even need it. Capwatch is playing on because he's Capwatch. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he's a fighter. But he's a fighter who will have no gold and no map control and no momentum and... One I, TC gaming. Yeah. In theory, if he were to... His four bomber cannons could start to swing this back for him. Because it can counter everything MBL has. The Trebs, cannons, and the skirms. But it's unlikely that he's going to be able to use his four cannons to kill everything. Of course, MBL can always make more. And that's also why MBL, I think, is taking it easy, making sure he gets some upgrades, not taking any risks, repairing the castle behind this. And we have ourselves a 1-1 in uh, the series that everybody said at the, when the bracket was seen would be a big one if we got here. Crazy. Oh, nice shot on the cannons. Okay. If Capuch loses these, even he gives up hope, right? This is full transparency, guys. We don't know what to say right now. We've said it all three or four times, right? <laughs> We are just waiting for Capwatch to finally give up in a situation <laughs> where we would have given up a long time ago. <laughs> I know what Leary would say here. <laughs> Resign. <laughs> Resign. <laughs> He's still fighting. He's like, we got a relic. And yeah, MBL just catching up more upgrades. Sends a couple conquistadors over to that stone. Capwatch still's like, I got a chance. Now, Gamdum.com calls the GG. There we go. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Nice game from MBL. I like the idea from Capwatch to like come forward with the tower. Yeah. I think that was good adaptation after, you know, thinking MBL was just going to go fast castle off the one militia drush, but MBL dealt with that so cleanly. Agreed. Like yeah. he had no hesitation. 450 food in the bank. A lot of people would just try and wall up and greed their way to castle age because you're so close. Yep. Yeah. MBL just goes four spearmen, forging, adds a stable. Starts adding scouts in and then rushes out with the villagers. It was so good. I think he yeah. was a little bit fortunate to have scouted the Vils, right? So yeah. that was unlucky yeah, yeah. for Catwatch. But think about what the starting scout accomplished from NBL in this game. This is why high-level players are just different, right? Starting scout scouted the wolves, determined that the left side had more wolves, <laughs> which then wolves. led yes, <laughs> which then led to the militia. But then the scout had to block and keep the militia alive for the wolf rush. Then that scout came home to stay alive because he was in Dark Age, left in feudal, scouted the forward, and then it led to everything else happening, including the tower defense, and then Vil kills, which the starting scout contributed to. Like, <laughs> just absolutely insane what MVL accomplished over the past uh, the first 15 minutes. Yep. 
And the only thing my scout accomplishes on average is dying under the opponent's town. Just runs so. right into that TC. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, yeah, at least we don't... Yeah, and then people were like, well, that scout's annoying anyway, so glad we don't have to worry about that. Wow. 1-1. One, one. Let's go. Crazy series. Here we are, game number three. And uh, just to, to repeat what Dave just said, because we saw MBL pick Mayans here. We haven't seen this yet. Since there's no deer on this map, and the rhinos are always exposed, the berries are exposed, and Mayans get loom right away, you seem to think we could have forward vills from MBL. He's moving away from his TC. I think you've called it. Yep. It just seems like the strat that Emil would do with mines. He just needs to find Capwatch fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's sending two Vils, bro. I, I mean, I guess with Mayans, you have that extra villager, right? Yep. So that's one of your extra Vils there. You're sending another one forward to Lame. You already have Loom, and you can take the deep fish. So and here we go. You are looking Interesting for... Interesting strat from You are looking... It, the land's always going to go up, but you're looking for berries... Or gold, and he sees berries, and now it's going down, so he and knows no, the TC is there. Don't so he knows show the eagle to Capwatch. Yeah. Do not show that eagle to Capwatch, because Capwatch will know what's up if he sees that. So, I thought the laming could be a problem on this map. Not necessarily with Vils, but with scouts. And so we moved the rhinos to the back, like we've done on a lot of maps. And Capwatch is bringing this rhino in earlier than he needs to. So I think he is worried about some shenanigans. The other yep. rhino is super close to Capwatch's TC. And it's close to a house, too. Let's see if he spots MBL's villagers. Fortunately for MBL, there's no water buffalo over there to let him know. And the eagle is there. Uh, Capwatch might think that MBL can't get this rhino with that eagle because it's so close to the TC. Agreed. He won't be expecting the villagers. Yep. You've, you, Hello. You, you got you to gotta do something about this if you're Capwatch. Now, the real next level lame is, is killing the rhino with your scout. So they cannot take food from it. MBL's got a wall in his vils. MBL, don't let him de-aggro that. Don't let him de-aggro that. Oh! No. Rhino can be taken in now. Capwatch is going to bring in his food. It was awkward. Great reaction from him. And he's it actually could lose his villagers. He's going to be really careful here, but he defends, Dave. He does defend. He's going to bring that Rhino in, but MBL has loom. MBL has loom, and Capwatch didn't have it for a while there, so... Yeah. So... Capwatch thus far damage downhill. gets all the food he would have wanted, and he already, you know, is in a decent spot. Now, I think uh, Woodwise... Oh, he's laming the a... Rhino from MBL! No, no way! Dude, it backfired! It backfired so hard! Wow! Oh, bro! Beautiful defense from Capwatch, and he says, nice idea, bro! Nice idea! And now MBL's completely out of sorts. He's going to try and wall in the berries here. But if Capwatch can get that home, MBL might oh, not be able dude. to get to Feudal Age. Here. MBL's not gonna let him get it home, dude. He you knows think? exactly. He knows exactly the path. He's like, "Don't take my Rhino! <laughs> Don't you dare! Too late! Take my..." Wait, hold on. He can catch up to it. He, he can, can block catch the up Rhino. He's still got two villagers Capwatch forward. The eagle is slow. The eagle is slow. The villagers <gasps> are over here. The gate is coming out from MBL. The Rhino needs to go around that. Another gate. Okay, Rhino's gonna be blocked. Uh Capwatch has to gate. stay close to the rhino. <laughs> How much wood does this guy have? Too much. Uh, the villager on the berries has successfully walled himself in as MBL, MBL de it. the rhino. He de-aggered it. Now Capwatch is going with his villager, but MBL is here and he can block the villager. This could be a dead vill, and the rhino can go home then. And now Capwatch is going to try again. Oh my god, what are we witnessing here? I think this, act, this villager it. stays alive. MBL's trying to block the rhino now. The Rhino does not get de aggroed. Capwatch now has three Rhinos, but it hasn't been clean, that's for sure. <laughs> has not been clean at all. There is still a villager from MBL walled in on the berries as he tries to micro against that scout, and there's a villager war in the center here. Capwatch came forward. Just your average MBL gameplay it, on it display. Is, it is, but I do have to say something. MBL is good enough where he doesn't have to do this. MBL is yep. good enough where he can play a standard approach. We have not seen Mayans pick the entirety of the qualifier on this map. I think for good reason, and I think MBL today, he's trying to make it chaotic, and we love that, but it does make me wonder if he can win three games without playing somewhat standard here. MBL's a great scout player. He's a great spear player. Capwatch is in a great position with the Magyars of all civs to make it to feudal faster than him now, and MBL's going to have to work really hard to survive that early feudal pressure, I think, from Capwatch.
Scout and Eagle dies. Well, I think even just like better execution on the lame. Like he walled in his villager right next to Capuch's house. But that rhino is always going to get de and brought back. Just yeah. pull it back yeah. and then lame it with the other villager. Yeah. yeah uh, dude, I mean, we, we talk about Mudflow being open and aggressive. <laughs> Look at MBL right now, dude. <laughs> he's going to. He's gonna try and wall it all, because I think he's he worried he's sees not gonna be able to click up to the full wall. Yeah, yeah. He he always sees a potential for a full wall. NBL can see walls that nobody else yeah can witness. As Capwatch now comes in with a villager, need to keep tabs on this one. That one could sneak to the back and yeah. maybe cause some problems. This is the second time in this game where Capwatch has been like, nice idea. How do you like it, right? He's giving MBL mm -hmm. a taste of his own medicine here. Now, in this Vil fight, MBL's villager will die. But if he, he brings in another Vil... Wall. He can just wall him in. Yeah. Delete the wall. Go on in. Uh, You gotta be or fast, just MBL. sacrifice the villager. Uh, You gotta be uh, fast. He got him. Oh, wow. Oh, absolutely rinsed, dude. Absolutely rinsed. Let's go. Okay. Good job. So, Catwatch will have seen that MBL is walling. And he's trying to bring another villager. What is this series? <laughs> Catwatch is... Is he trying to sneak a vill into the back of MBL's eco right now? <laughs> MBL, please realize that there is a gigantic gap in your wall. He always clicks with a villager outside, so he probably will. Does but Catwatch this villager might just there, walk though? right through the middle here. Let's see. MBL? I don't even think... You'll see? Same thing that I, I said it. before, though. I don't actually think going in there helps you right now. You can stay outside. You can make some scouts. You can make some towers. This could be okay. He's going to make the stable there. MBL doesn't see it. MBL is two minutes away from feudal. He is mm. still not fully walled. It's going to take him a long time to do that. And the wood situation <laughs> for him is going to be brutal. It's fine, bro. It's fine. What's he spending wood on right now? <laughs> Well, I guess Mayans, need wood. <laughs> Mayans have cheaper walls, and then uh, do, resources yeah. last longer. So I guess his wood lasts longer in the back, and he doesn't spend as much of it. Oh, wow. my. What is the plan here? Well, Capo Is there a plan? No, there's, there's no plan. The plan was in the first 30 seconds, and now it's all adaptation. For MBL, he wouldn't mind, like, a heavy spear play. So it will be heavy spear play, but you can't make scouts, right? And... It's really awkward to get into archers or something on this map. So I think like res collected, at least with food and whatnot, should be pretty good for Capwatch. And he's definitely breaking through that house. Like that house is gonna go down. I don't know what Capwatch, what MBL does to keep these units out once that tower is up. We'll see. SC game, dude. Like I said before, he's a unique defender, right? Yeah. Well, I have to say. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's less than good. I mean, I could see MBL. He just found this stone. Now, that's just pure luck from him. I don't think he's planning with that. But he's going to find that stone. So now he can make a defensive tower. Okay, so we can keep Capwatch out. And then he can always make more towers. I mean, and he's actually Capwatch will have some issues with food supply. Yeah. Here shortly because oh, the oh, one berries oh, is walled oh, in. There's, oh, there's, a there's a hole. 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 Oh god! He didn't realize that was a hole. No one did. No one did until the one scout went through, and now Capwatch is underneath the tower with villagers. He's underneath the tower with scouts, and MBL says, "Fine, you can stay here." He makes a house wall. He's bringing spearmen. He's bringing villagers. I don't know if this is good or bad for either player, but I can tell you that Capwatch's vills cannot escape right now, and that could be brutal for them. No hesitation there from MBL engaging against that, but there's Magyar scouts at the back, and Capwatch runs away. MBL just doesn't care. He's chasing <laughs> with the villagers here. Capwatch takes the engagement, but he's stuck inside now, and it's not like there's that much more military coming from Capwatch. His Fudiko is kind of in shambles as MBL manages to take out one, two, three scouts at the back without losing a single vill. How? How is he doing this? How? This is I why you know. can't attack. This is why you just gotta let him wall. You can't run in. You just Let can't run cook. in because MBL will find a way. Both players love the chaos so much. They've continued to bring it. But MBL has a <laughs> villager lead here as we have Capwatch villagers trapped inside and they will surely die. 
This set is exactly as advertised. <laughs> dude, this is everything like, about this. This is precisely no, dude. What whatever, we I, whatever the critics were saying, uh, you know, whatever people were saying yeah. beforehand, this has gone beyond expectations. Let's be honest. Yeah. This is. <laughs> I expected chaos, but I did not expect this. Oh man. MBL now has a six fill lead. At seven. After the shenanigans early, it's crazy. Oh man, and Catbosh has got to be I, like. I, was I thought that to was such a good this. push from Catbosh. Same. Too. And, and and like MBL just had no hesitation. He <laughs> 12, pulled the entire 12 economy. Twelve to one KD for MBL for the guy who yep. went forward. I think the only thing he lost was his eagle, right? Because he lost the eagle. Yep. He's gonna lose a villager here. No, he saves him. Spearman is here. Oh, oh don't tell me he saves all these vills. They're so weak. Okay, so Come on, Catbosh. Classic. What happens now? Is this like plumes for MBL? Well, and MBL's Castle just gonna, or? you know, rush down this stable with some villagers. So. Okay. Weak villagers. I mean, I think they have the hill bonus. So, yep, stable will go down eventually. That is pretty much what we would have expected. The most normal thing to have happened in this series so far is what we're seeing there. That roof is really getting stabbed. <laughs> I like how, with the perspective, because of the hill, they're like standing on the stable as well. Yeah. As they well, at do least it. they're not stabbing the horses. Yeah, it's true. You don't want to do that. Capoch, that villager's weak, dude. That is a one HP villager that Capoch was fortunate not to lose. <laughs> well, skirmisher, spearman, scout coming forward. Capoch, like I said before, it doesn't really have the eco to keep production. Yeah, up. but, 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 even though Capoch loses the vill, I mean, MBL, the whole villager against stable strategy is not oh, really good. Oh, God. MB, it's not a good strategy. He's got to run. He's got to run. Another scout comes out, and Capoch will only manage to kill one vill here. He doesn't get these two. Maybe they get inside the tower. Yeah. I think, though, the fact that you can now... The fact that you now have two full HP scouts to nerd out with... Oh, uh, well, never mind. Mm -hmm. He's running back. I was going to say, that could be really good for him. Catwatch is MBL farming away at home. To... He took all of his yeah, berries. If... MBL doesn't have that, so Catwatch has all the control still. MBL has the villager lead, but Catwatch has the better eco. Yeah. yeah because... because MBL's eco has just been Dude, a mess. Catwatch has brought more vills. These villagers did not hear. They were... They were on the waiting list for this job. They thought they would never get the opportunity. And they asked about what happened to the previous four, but there was no response. And they're like, whatever. This has been my dream. MBL better make sure his tower goes up first because there's a bunch of weak fills there. Could easily lose villagers, but he comes out with the Spearman, gets a couple of good hits on the scout, uh, and rewalls the hole behind. So, yeah. Tower yep. should go up. Um, As long as the scouts can't get in, I think it's okay for MBL. But back to our point, like, MBL's eco is not the cleanest. He is adding farms now, but even the wood efficiency is rough. Capwatch has the great, the better wood line. Capwatch has the better farming eco. Capwatch could definitely reach Castle Age faster here. And with this position, like, that other tower still stands on the gold. Uh, he could definitely He's do coming out again. happen in Castle. Oh, God, not again. With the Vils. He's coming out again with the Vils. The stable is fairly weak. The tower is going to go down, and he can shoot at... Capwatch's villagers <laughs> with his own tower. And of course, Capwatch doesn't give it up. Back. Of course, Capwatch doesn't give back. it up. <laughs> He's going to try and wall him again. He gets the gate up, but the spearmen are here from MBL. Uh, See what they can do. That's a lot of spears and MBL's oh, tower fire. How does as well. he make it work? <laughs> well, Capwatch needs to, like, also at some point, you got to be like, okay, I'm done, right? <laughs> he just yeah. refuses. He just <laughs> refuses <laughs> to believe that MBL can defend from it again. Two skirms, two spears, scouts in the queue. He's got villagers coming forward again. Oh, my goodness. And MBL <laughs> is now queuing up archers. Oh, man. How good would a dock here from MBL be? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, yeah, it'd be so good for either That'd player. That'd be so sick. Yeah. yeah like, MBL's... Well, I think for Catwatch, there's no wood eco to hit, but for MBL, I mean, Yeah, that's... true. <laughs> Even if, like, honestly, at this point, that, there's that other hole on the other side. I think of Catwatch, just defensive towers and gets those six scouts in to MBL's eco and just nerds out mm -hmm. on the farms. And it's a simpler game, and it can do a lot of things. MBL's still trying to take out this freaking stable with scouts, dude. This is ridiculous. A calf watch is going to make another again. tower? <laughs> stable go bye-bye. <laughs> Scout is denied. <laughs> Objective completed. Uh, <laughs> now he can retreat. Okay. We have the tower on... 
the oh walls of MBL are on the other side now from Castle. Oh my god. <laughs> just go up! Just one of you, please, just go up to Castle Age. I mean, it's it's like way too early in the year to say this, but most entertaining series of the year so far. This is mm -hmm. hilarious. This is wild. Every game's had something different. And then the stakes. Hundreds of dollars on the line if you make it to the next round in this quality, but both players want to be hidden. And in that main event of Hidden Cup, where all the main there event are, action's happening. There's a plethora of villagers coming forward for I, MBL, and they're diving right into the scouts, and he doesn't care. He's only lost three villagers. Capwatch has only lost five, only. It seems like a miracle at this stage, and now the villagers are still engaging here. MBL just... adding eagles, archers, skirmishers, spearmen, more vills. Capwatch now? still adding skirmishers. He goes for a tower there. A dock would be amazing. Doc would be incredible. That tower is incredible. Catwatch probably doesn't expect it. What is this game? What is this game? And like MBL's made so many spears. So and now Catwatch is gonna rush this down. Catwatch is gonna rush this down. We have a Vill War in the middle of the map. What are Another we witnessing? Tower from MBL. Skirmishers here from Catwatch. And he just at some point these guys just need to calm it down and start. No, you can't a go bit. back, dude. You can't go back at this point. I given up on that. <laughs> <laughs> I have We're given up on them going back. There is no going back. What is this chaos? Oh, jeez. Does MBL pull more villagers? Does he bring more villagers oh, yeah. from the back? They're a long way away. He's sending more from the I, town center. He's trying to engage here. Capwatch, so many villagers. 15 villagers forward. I just... I don't know if you should be doing what both of them are doing, but I guess it evens out here. Like, the tower goes down. What in the world? What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. Catwatch is losing a lot of bills, though. Yeah. 13 to 9, Eco KD. MBL loses a couple more, and he's just like, all right, I'll make another tower. For the love of Try God, me. someone make a demo. For the love of God, and please. Catwatch, is is Catwatch going to make a tower, or is he just going to rush this down? Uh, uh, dude, I can't believe they haven't made a dock yet. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm with you on that. It could still happen. Catwatch probably feels like there's a better chance that he can rush this one down than the previous one because the previous one was closer to the other tower. But Dave, that other tower behind this for MBL has killed seven villagers. Yeah, and it's, it's gotten killed a lot of damage. It's killed other too. units as well. Like that is the MVP tower for MBL. Oh, Catwatch is still throwing bills away. 17 to 9 Eco KD now. MBL is going to lose a couple. Does he lose? Does he save her? He goes back to the fight. Okay. And look at all the... Now this tower goes up, and now MBL's going to build another tower. This is where Catwatch was taking wood. He doesn't actually have many vills around anymore. They've kind of all died by being sent forward in this chaos. But he does have scouts, and he will deny that tower. And now he has his own Make tower. Make a dock. Make a dock. At what point do we just... Do they, do they actually chill? Do they stop? Like, I think MBL, after this tower, should just stop. No more forwarding. Right? He's gonna go up. Somehow, my goodness, dude. He found he'll the make another on the other tower. side. Like he'll make another one. He's running out of wood within his walls. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, every other game, it's been like scouts into docks and demos, and we've yet to see that dock. I guess you have to Apple kind of fight it. Though. Is a disaster. Yeah, I just took a, a brief glance around oh. his economy, and it is it is it, it, it's hideous. Yep, it really is. He had the farming eco before, but this game has gone on for so long. The farms expired, and he hasn't had the wood income. And now a stupid villager is standing over the lumber camp and won't let them build the lumber camp, so he can't get, build the lumber camp. And uh, it's the leader. Just, just get her up. Send a message here, Kappa. Ah. Uh. Oh, oh my oh god oh, oh my god oh okay my there we god. go <laughs> that's the worst <laughs> uh what a funny game MBL's gonna be up does he I, he might upgrade this uh this tower fest to a castle drop actually but maybe Catwatch calls it honestly when he sees MBL's up because he's he's got 50 food dude he can't click up Catwatch goes for a tower yeah, Catwatch might be thinking that, you know, my eco is untouched at home. Um, I have wood in the middle, which is really important, but MBL figured it out. Don't ask me how, but he think, figured it out. What do you think it would take for MBL to make a dock? Would it take Catwatch sitting in plain sight with 20 wounded villagers? 
I think maybe MBL doesn't want to make a dock because it'll remind Capwatch that Capwatch can make that a dock. That could be it. That's actually that actually could be it. <laughs> We're gonna give like, that's that's kind of like escalation, you know. That's an arms race at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> don't want to remind them. Because clearly yeah. MBL wants to be on this terrain, so yeah, we'll give MBL credit for that and say that's why he's not making one. But that castle's going to go up. Honestly, could have been uh, more bold. But that'll lead to plumed archer production. Capwatch clicks up. But Dave, if these eagles find this wood line, this is going to be brutal. There's going to be an overchop in MBL's base soon. Oh, he pulls away. That's sick, dude. Yep, he noticed nice that. Nice job. He noticed that. Eagles from MBL. I, I think MBL has completely forgotten that Capwatch is taking wood right there. Just completely forgotten it. Doesn't see it to be fair. It's gonna go for other resources, which he could easily find because this is mud flow. If if MBL doesn't take advantage of this position and kill a few more bills, Capwatch can drop a castle. Capwatch could be okay. You never know. What a crazy game. A crazy series between two big names. The people who showed up to watch the... this one are being entertained right now. Yeah, I wish Capturage could show us, like, fighting time on villagers. <laughs> I'm looking at the idle time. There's a lot Oh, it doesn't MBL, have a but... fighting oh, stat. Oh, this army from MBL right in on the wood line goes under the tower, and he keeps going. Yeah, he keeps going. He's microing the eagles, too. I think he wants the eagles to meet up with this to deal with the skirms. Capwatch still a long ways from clicking up. Capwatch has a lot of vills here. He's already behind in vills. Quick walls from Capwatch. But there's still so many... There's going to be so many casualties here, and the eagles get through... But they don't, but they do, and yeah, surely this is And the is archers GG. are sitting still. Yeah, the archers are sitting still there. Capwatch yeah. still gaming. He's at 40 villagers right now, four skirmishers only. And he's going to get to Castle Age with not enough resources, so he calls the GG. What a battle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can we look at the worker efficiency stat that popped down on our screens for a second? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Normally, the average is way higher. Normally, the worst, like, minute is, is different. That was just a ridiculous game. And somehow, MBL wins it, just creating the chaos. And maybe, like, there was a point there where we thought Capwatch was in such a nice position to, to be aggressive. And maybe you just can't be aggressive against MBL, right? Because he broke through and then clearly regretted it. And then from there on, he was just in full-on, I'm playing MBL mode. And just well, decided I mean... to be just as aggressive as him. If your opponent makes 22 scouts, you got to make 22 spearmen. True. <laughs> Classic, right? <laughs> 22 spearmen in feudal age. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not going to have a problem if MBL makes it in the hidden cup. I think I'll know. <laughs> yeah, seriously. He's he's usually one of the easiest ones to guess. And and listen, the other fun thing about um, MBL here is he is reinforcing all the stereotypes that we've mm -hmm. all had for him. Because like sometimes he works away from that. He doesn't lame as much. Maybe he doesn't wall as much. Maybe he doesn't make as many Spearmen as people say. No, he has gone back to who he is here in this series. Spearmen, walls, and laming. And also, like, wow. credit to Capwatch because Capwatch has given us some crazy pushes. Like, that was a wild push. That should have worked. Yeah. Agreed. That was a good decision. Like, that should have worked. If you see your opponent is making... How many Palisade walls did MBL have here? 61. A lot. If he makes 61 Palisade walls, it doesn't matter if he's Mayans. He's probably got five Vils building that. He's yeah. spending so much wood. You got a pressure like that, and it's going to kill most people. And it not MBL. didn't kill MBL. Yep, yeah. I think you have to embrace the later stages of the game against MBL, and that's also what you don't want to do many times against MBL. Well, let's talk about the importance of scouting here, because... The previous series, we saw a player um, choose to not really scout the sides at all, and that was Daniel. Now, Daniel obviously took that game towards him. Fantastic talent. But I did feel like in some ways it was awkward for him. So players will know that there's hunt and there's fish on the side. And obviously there's a benefit to going out there and building a mill. But then the downside is your villagers are exposed. So what people will do is they will just push the deer from the side towards their TC which delays their scouting. Now, MBL's already forward with his scout, did which you, is crazy. Did you see that? Capwatch went forward with his scout. MBL spotted Capwatch's scout forward, and then he turned around and made a beeline to Capwatch's base. Mm, okay, yeah, I actually so, have I actually have the play, players confused in my mind, and yeah, you're right. Yep. So Capwatch has come forward, and MBL's sending villagers and getting loom again. He will know where his opponent's TC is because it is somewhat fixed, and he is going to try this again. You, you know what? You had a problem with it after the 
kind of failure of last game, but you know, he, I'm fine as long as he commits to this, these types of strats. If he's identified this as one of his strengths, yeah, and yeah. you know what, he's already won a game doing it. He might steal the board. It was messy. Yeah, he knows the cat punch is going out for this boar, and he might actually try and steal it. Might try and kill these vills too. I mean, he's got two vills coming behind. That boar is so dead, isn't it? Oh, that boar that is, so is so dead. Done. Dusted. Okay, so future, if MBL moves on to MBL's future opponent, take your boars right away. Just take them. Like, and Catpoch is stealing stuff from MBL, by the way. He's stealing four geese, so MBL will be Why down is MBL, too. He's going to try and kill this vill. Why is he not going after that boar? At least yeah. he's he sees an opportunity here. Catpoch should go out amidst all this chaos. Try and get and that board. Go grab that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. MBL's walling in the wood line to make life awkward. This is crazy. This is we thought it would stop. Uh, I may, uh, maybe I did, but yep, it's not gonna stop. The Catpotch is then just gonna hit the palisade. He seems really annoyed, but this is this is a strategy. Everything is allowed. This is war, and maybe even emotional warfare at this point. And MBL still knows the boar is there. Catpatch is bringing <laughs> Vils. Catpatch is, Catpatch is waiting for MBL to go take his board too. <laughs> True. MBL walling. Okay. House wall from MBL. The boar is still following. And now it stops. Catpatch needs to scout home right now, dude. For this fight. The scout being home would be it. so good. He's and Catpatch with the gate. He says stay. And MBL leaves. Okay. I forgot that was possible. Yeah, that's his house. <laughs> <laughs> but it was epic. the enthusiasm, though. It was great. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> and the old walls in the villa. I don't know how he got that wall down. He needs to de-aggro this boar, uh, and it, it automatically de-aggros. Okay, there it goes. MBL can block from and the other gonna side. And he's going to try and block the villagers. He's like, fine, take it. Take it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Not again. Oh, God. Well, I thought Laming was dead in AoE 2, Tristan. That boar <laughs> has been de one more time. MBL proving it's very much alive. And can he get it done? He can still get it done. The boar will do a lot of damage. Look at MBL block. He's the king of Laming. Master oh, boar Lamer at it again. And the boar oh. kills the villager. What in the world, man? Gets away with it once more. So what is that? Cat Punch that... does return with that though, so that's something yeah. I suppose. And and on the very left, he's got two geese circling home, and in the north, he's got geese circling home. So he might actually end up having more food than MBL. Look at look underneath MBL's TC right now. He's got nothing, bro. He's gonna go. I out mean, to he's the going side. out to the hunt. Yep. Remember, Malay can stay in Dark Age for a did, little bit longer. Did MBL? Shoot a boar with the TC. I think he. I think he might have killed it because boar with the TC. I don't. I'm gonna go back because I. There should be more boar hunt. Okay, I'm seeing one. Um, it shows that he's dealt 60 damage with that TC. So I don't think he shot one because the um, boar has 75 HP. Yeah, he's actually. That, he's yeah. actually okay. He had both his boars. Yeah. It just. This really yeah. shows you just how how he missed out on so many geese because he went forward like this. Scatpunch is going to have a lot. And uh, yeah, Malay advanced faster than the next age. Yeah. MBL is now on the side resources, which he needs, but also is a big part of the map, which he might have even factored in here. And I'm very curious to see now what Catpatch scouts because Catpatch actually, look, Dave, if you look at his Fog of War, he can see the deer is dead there. So because of that early scouting, Catpatch will know there's Vils there, and that would be my target if I were him. Mm -hmm. He's sending Vils forward. <laughs> no way. Who is? Am, who is? Where? Am I... Oh, I have to catch up. I still haven't got there. Okay, I see the Vils now. Building the barracks anyways. Oh my goodness. He's not done, man. <laughs> he's not done. He's, he's... I mean, this is what we've been talking about. MBL style being this crazy, chaotic style. Catwatch... Yeah. Is perfectly comfortable but, in these games as well. Is he gonna go to the correct side? He's going like he wants to hit the the south. Well, there's two stones. There's two stones and a gold over there too. Yeah, it's true. not just about the food eco and the wood too. on the sides. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Also, if Capwatch reaches feudal faster than MBL, He's gonna kill this scout. It could yeah. kill that scout. MBL does have more HP though, M so it could MBL. Be close. I mean, he's got the villagers on hunt, but like, will he have enough food? even click up soon yeah i think it's actually an argument after this vill even if you don't have the food right away for feudal you idle 
You idle, you drop Maybe. off. I think he'll have enough. He'll get like 125 from the hunt. He'll have the berries. He can click up here. Yeah, that's very well played. Perfectly. Yeah. He also got a downhill hit on Capwatch's scout when he was chasing him around, so it's even weaker than before, which is good. <laughs> Capwatch goes for a range, and here come the militia. Oh, Kidok. Oh, oh man, a forward archery range. Unbelievable. Just crazy stuff. Still at home, Capwatch yeah, doesn't need farms this. for food. Almost. You can almost see it. He's doesn't missing see it, it all. He's missing it all. But he sees the house. That is a, dude, that is a warning sign. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. if you see that house, you know. You know there's something coming. But he also has to there's deal with this other stuff on the other side. You have to get this barracks down if you're MBL because you can't make your follow-up building if you don't. This is really frustrating, but he's fought with Bills a lot this series. And MBL, his scout's looking around. He still doesn't see the buildings from Capwatch. He still he hasn't seen an archer. might be able to kill a villager here from Capwatch. Capwatch might be distracted. I think you fight somewhere else and then you send that scout in to kill it. Unless you really need that scout at home. Look at that tower from Capwatch. <laughs> Capwatch towering the gold his opponent is even, isn't even taking. And now MBL will know if he didn't have any suspicions before. Capwatch. 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 Okay, careful. Dude, this is so chaotic for MBL right now. He's got Militia on one side. He's got archers in a tower and vills on the other. We say it all the time, though. Capwatch has to wall in that tower. Just with one of those vills. Just in case, MBL wants to run out and rush that down. You see MBL's scout right now? Oh, do you see Capwatch's scout? I was just looking at MBL's scout. Capwatch Ooh. came in and sniped that villager. Nice. Nice job. So... Capwatch is going to mine his opponent's stone right now. Big. Mining his Big. opponent's stone after towering his opponent's main gold here on slopes. And, uh, well, MBL can't do anything about it right now, but MBL's got archers and skirms, and MBL is okay. Kills Capwatch's scout, and we are far from finished, right? MBL knows that Capwatch doesn't have a scout. We know something crazy is going to happen now. A lot of HP on his own scout, too. 27 HP. Yeah. Exposed sure. skirms. Tower here from MBL. Good little quick wall there. Capwatch comes in. MBL's going to try and wall these guys in, or he's just going to engage with the villagers. Just engaging with the village. How have we found ourselves in this situation again? <laughs> this is the third straight game. <laughs> and I love it. Yeah, I love it. It's so special. And like, But look at MBL's response to this. He knows, actually, I could just build my own tower. It denies the stone. Oh, I can shoot your sniped. tower down. Oh god, but the archers from Capwatch are going to go to the side and MBO completely forgetting about this. Could lose all these vills. Even the idle TC time's them. insane right now, but he does save them. Capwatch runs away, not wanting to lose those archers. Dang, dude, what a crazy game. I mean, honestly, the tower from Capwatch, I didn't mind. But mm -hmm. I think what I would have preferred is a tower on a resource the opponent was actively using. Yep. Uh, and then the mining camp on the front, that's a waste now, right? You didn't really get the value from that. So there has been some level of investment here from Capwatch that hasn't panned out perfectly for him. MBL's host, classic. <laughs> Fine. Means he's producing. Yep. That's what he always says. Yep. A little bit of copium. That's a, that's a nice little army there from uh, Capwatch, though. He's got archers, he's got skirmishers, still two villagers to worry about, and MBL needs to back up. Yep. We'll see if MBL the, gets... The armor for the Spearman for Malay is really useful for MBL here, though. Yeah, that's true. Adds Makes a little, little bit of extra bit firepower. Tankier. If this is peak MBL, he's now going to get housed at 45 pop. Because he got housed at 40. Yep, there it is. And he only built one, so now he's and going now to, he'll to build, build another house. He, he'll build, like, three now. Mm, I, think he, I think he goes two on the back of this one. Let's see. He's going to... He's going to get housed uh, with this vill. He didn't actually realize because he's not producing army. He's microing. Here we go. Messy game. Obviously, it leads to that. And there we go. Just one more house for MBL. We'll update you. And if he builds more, folks, that's something you look for for MBL. But he's fought this back. And he's up to one. And MBL, as messy as he has played, he's won of this, clearly. And Capwatch has not been able to deal with it. The last two games have just been so freaking messy. I think, like... If MBO wins here, he should be really happy with himself because yes. he's overcome a lot in this set already. Agreed. So Agreed. is Capwatch, yep. to be fair. Like, even just that game one is crazy, but this set has been wild.
And I think, oh god, Catpotch, 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 weak villager! Ooh, a bit sloppy from him there. I, I think also in some ways, I'm not sure how you feel about this, but as MBL moves in, you win this. Even if you lose that next best of seven, you still have the backup. You still have another chance. You still have the yeah. backup second qualifier. You still qualifier. have another chance. If you lose this series, though, you have no second chance, and you are just out. So I actually think in some ways, this is more pressure than the best of mm -hmm. seven decider to get into Hidden Cup will be for some of these guys. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a game. Hey, what... Skirm's on the hill at the front. Spearman following up. Scouts from Catwatch. And a decent farmy go, all things considered, from him. Yeah, agreed. Also, he has the food eco on the side to the very north there. He's been taking. MBL never scouted that area, so he doesn't really have a clue. But MBL's army is hard to engage against right now if you're Catpotch. You need to use your range units to snipe the spears. And if the spears are out of the picture, then the scouts can collapse. But like you said, that little bit of extra armor there that the Malay get for free is really nice for the spearmen. And MBL made 22 spearmen in the previous game. He's working his way up towards 7 right now. So he has no hesitation if he's going to need a few more spears. He didn't get housed at 65. I thought he would, for sure. <laughs> He's getting better at it. That's yep. bad for Catwatch. Catwatch tries to take the fight. There's too many spearmen. I don't think Catwatch is going to like the conclusion of this engagement. There's still no. a spearman there. And I think if MBL just clears up the skirmishers here, he's perfectly content with this, and he yeah. gets all the scouts too. I mean, yeah. like, that's just so much investment from Catwatch for really nothing in return. Uh, Although, on uh, the other side, Catwatch uh, is pushing in. Underneath the tower, MBL sees this. He can't wall in time. Where did Catpotch come from? Catpotch kills a villager under the tower. MBL's off of gold. MBL's skirms are out of position. Actually, even MBL's spearmen and archers now are not helpful. And Catpotch refusing to quit. Microing underneath the enemy tower. If he moves a too far, the tower will hit him. But underneath, it's fine. And this is a brilliant raid from him. What a great raid, dude. It's almost like he took that fight so he could have this opportunity. Yeah, true. That's a fair point. MBL loses another vill to this. MBL's lost six vills. Another bills. villager. Oh my god. What a what a raid from Catwatch. He's still under the tower. He takes another villager. That is so worth. Yeah. That and is so worth. Think about MBL's army right now. MBL's army isn't getting any counter damage in to kill vills. It mm -hmm. is just a defensive army. And this is actually a an issue that happens for MBL sometimes is because he's not offensive, he can't counterattack after big losses. It's well, still he's going to find a villager pick here, I think. Nope. Catwatch pulls him away. MBL's up, though. What a crazy up time. How is he up? And with Malay, and in he's 90 gonna, seconds, dude, he'll be there. And he's got almost 500 stone. Yeah, so, true. True, true. A true. castle could be really, really nice. Can we Grambits just could be a great addition. Can we just appreciate how, like, they are very much not Walt? Mm -hmm. Like, they thought about it and then said, eh. <laughs> Actually, they're going to get in anyway. They, <laughs> yeah. They're just giving up on it. Forward archer range next to a stable from MBL. And here come the Vils. Here come the Vils. Is it going to be a Sebastian or a Dowd Castle? I think MBL will go elephants, actually, out of this stable. He's going to walk right past that house from Catwatch. Catwatch no secrets see it, here. Dude. Yeah. Catwatch yeah, no see secrets it. whatsoever. But, I mean, MBL knows that the archer army died. So there's probably not another one of those yeah true. he knows that he killed the scouts too yeah so like where's the risk here of just smacking a castle down put it <laughs> right beside the farms as close as you can cap watch should be going for foundations to get rid of this oh, area but he God. doesn't yeah and, and that's a brutal castle you can't stop it because mbl does have enough army it's not an army that will kill vills but the castle can kill vills a cap watch's little counter attack now is three archers and a scout but mbl saw that coming and Catwatch has got to be feeling some heat right now. Castle and on your like, TC, it's going to go down. Yeah, possibility of Karambits coming out too with the plus two armor automatically into your yeah, eco. Yeah, like, that's, that's so a rough. nightmare. I think Ghoulams actually do pretty good against Karambits. Oh, MBL, don't shift click. He shift clicked oh, the villagers oh, away. He, oh, MBL, God. go back. Just send him back. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh my god. I can't. I'm gonna have an aneurysm. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> MBL adds a knight. Everything's fine. He's gonna kill these archers and the castle will go up. And then he will just stay there and mine the stone. But man, oh man, what does Catbotch do? I mean, you've gotta... I think you need a castle to like, buy it and build it right behind your TC, right? Because it's not gonna... If that... Your TC's gonna go down here. 
Bro, if that castle went up a minute earlier, I would have even said, go for Petards. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, take it down, but the Karamets are coming out, and because the TC is attacking the Karamets, the archers can oh. feel free to just run right through, and what a play from MBL to just dive in with these archers. This is a disaster here for Catwatch. He needs to go for a, a YOLO castle of his own, but yeah. now he's on the run. Yeah, and now the YOLO castle, even if it goes up, it won't protect everything. He needs to build it in somewhat safe area. And MBL walked right underneath it, used the Krambits to distract. That was intentional. And dude, I mean, let the castle go up, MBL. If you find yeah. that wood line to the north, just feast oh, yeah, on he's that. Found it. And you'll he's be found happy. It. He's found it. He's found it. Bod can arrow on these archers. Doesn't have the crossbow upgrade. Doesn't need it at the moment. Sniping them down. I mean, I've wanted an MBL return to form for so long. Was it perfect? No. Was it MBL? Yes. Absolutely. GG, good luck. Wow. Capoch crashes out. Capoch played amazing here today, though, and I think everyone should respect him for it. But MBL was the favorite for a reason. He's he's a fan favorite to get back into Hidden Cup 5 for a reason. And he just played as messy and scrappy as he could against a player where many other people would not want to do that, right? Because Capoch will clearly embrace it. I, and, and try and play that way as well, but MBL, I think beautiful stuff. Every single one of those games was hard fought, extremely yep. hard fought. Yep. Capwatch, I, I, I mean, it's it's a rough situation. He's going to be disappointed, but <laughs> like so many people would have died yeah. so much harder <laughs> in his position on those games. Oh it, my god! It might not even make sense, right? Like if you play the game for as long as Capwatch has and at this level. Mm -hmm you're used to certain results happening on the back of your own performance. And so I think Capoch's aggression at times probably felt like it was working or it should work. And then he's probably sitting there right now at his computer like, how? <laughs> like, how did this happen? How did like, I not win? Let's, that's let's, just yeah, let's, let's tally up the results there. So I somehow managed to defeat a guy who had six mangonels on my island. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next game, I got rushed by 12 wolves. I lost the vill, and then I lost my tower forward to Spearman with Forging from Spanish, and then he doubled towered in front of my base, double siege workshop, castle, fast imp somehow. And then you move on to the next one. He it sent two vills to lay me. <laughs> I stole his rhino. He, he's like, I stole his rhino. He walled the most unwallable map in the entire map pool. And yeah, I mean, the list goes on. Uh, congratulations to yeah. MBL, though. Really excited. So that means he moves into a best of seven uh, next weekend. If he wins that best of seven, he will qualify. He will be one of the main event players in Hidden Cup on a hero name, hidden identity that could actually add to MBL's gameplay, possibly. And then, of Tristan. course, with the way the bracket looks, if you lose that, you actually get a second chance. What's up? MBL's queuing. <laughs> MBL just queued up just for a ranked game. Yo. MBL just queued up for ranked game after that. There's no celebration. He's right back to it, and he is playing against Yo. That is that is the most MBL thing ever, and that is one of two reasons why we will not interview him, because there should be another series happening right now, but my goodness, MBL.